Hey guys, Mr. Mars in here. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep this video short because I found uh, the longer they are, the harder it is to upload. If you haven't been seeing these videos, please let me know. And I know I, I, I still need to adjust some things. I still need to make some changes. Um, basically what this one is about is that today I'm going to put the uh, nationhood case study assignment live once again. Um, let's just see what's happening in 1S's online classroom. Uh, very nice, very nice 1S, looking good there. We've got a few new messages. Isaiah is posting, good night, sir. I don't know if you were trying to get my attention or if you were just being polite. Um, either are a little creepy because I, I'm pretty sure this was after nine last night. Go to sleep, man. Stop bothering me. Uh, bother me during the daytime when you normally would, between the hours of 8 and 4. Uh, Zyra has been very helpful putting up the codes for everybody else. Thanks, Zyra. I think I'm going to put a, a quick response. Thanks, Zyra. But really, let's look at the classwork uh, that we have. Yesterday, um, it was all about the presentation. What would we be if we weren't a state? Uh, and you guys had some guiding questions. Um, you guys are used to guiding questions by now, guiding questions that I asked last time. What is a dependent territory? What is an autonomous region? And what is a colony? And at least seven of you, maybe six of you, um, five of you have been pretty good at responding to those. Um, two of those responses were from me. Uh, Taisha mentioned the term autonomy, and I asked her to explain what that was. Um, somebody else explained for her, but yes, autonomy basically means that you are able to make your own rules without anyone else interfering. So if a country can make their own laws without asking permission from someone else or without someone else telling them what to do or telling them what laws to make, then it could be said that that country has autonomy. And autonomy, being able to make your own laws, is one of the things that are required for being a state. Uh, that came up because we had some examples in that presentation that had autonomy, but basically they weren't states for one reason or another. Um, if you haven't looked at that Sway presentation yet, I don't know what you're waiting for, please make sure that you do. No matter what class you're in, everybody, every class was assigned this presentation. You guys should all be looking at this presentation by now. Um, it's pretty simple. Has some good information, some nice pictures that I've included for you. You're very much welcome for all my hard work. No, please stop. You don't have to clap. That's, it's fine. Um, but once you've looked through that, it means that you would be ready for the nationhood case study. And you can see in my view, I still have it as a draft. I'm making it available for all four classes. It's a classwork, which means it carries a lower percentage, but it's still graded work, and I still will be collecting those grades, no matter what you may have heard. Um, Last time I had it due for midnight, and I feel like some people waited until midnight to actually start. So this time is due at five o'clock. Um, what happens if you see it at five o'clock and you get it into me late? Well, hmm, I'll have to think about that. Me and Miss Martinez will have to figure out how that works. Um, and yeah, it is essentially, um, what is called a Google quiz, but don't get scared. This is not being graded as a quiz. This is simply a cr classwork exercise. You guys will uh, submit your email addresses um, and you will submit your answers to the questions. Read through these paragraphs. Tell me what you uh, um, think they are. So your, your answers should be phrased in the form, I think that this is an example of and it can be a state, it can be a colony, it can be a dependent territory, it can be an autonomous region. Those are the four that we're dealing with right now. And then you also have to explain, you also have to tell me why you think that. I believe this because, and then you can point in the, to the case study 
uh, to any evidence that you've found that tells you that this is a state autonomous region, colony, whatever the case may be. Um, please aim for at least two or three sentences. I do not want single word or phrase answers. If you give me an answer like, didn't ask for payment, makes their own rules. Those are not satisfactory answers. Those are not what we're looking for, and those will not earn you uh, the full amount of points. Speaking of points, you can see on the side here, each of these is worth 15 points. Let me take, tell you how that breaks down. If you can tell me accurately what type of country this is, whether it's a colony or a state or autonomous region, if you get it correct, that's five points. If you can do so, um, by explaining, by pointing to evidence that is in the case study, that's an extra five points, that's 10 points total. Uh, and if you can do so in a paragraph form with little or no spelling errors, that'll be 15 points. Each of these is worth a maximum of 15 points. There are four questions, you do the math. Once you have those, uh, make sure that you hit the submit button, otherwise I won't be able to see your answers. Uh, and when you do, I'll be able to get them. I'll check them out. I'm asking that you give me a few days to check through these. On average, there are 30 people in each online class, and there's four of you. I'll do the math for you this time. That's 120 answers that I have to check. There's no way, absolutely no way, that I'll be able to get all of that done tonight. So, one thing, if you've hit submit and you've given your answers, you do not have to post or message or call me to ask if, you got, if I got your work. As soon as you hit that button, I got your work. Thing two, do not ask me immediately how much you got or whether I've checked it yet. I'm telling you now, nope, I haven't checked it yet. Uh, and I'll be going through one class at a time, and it'll be a little while. Um, now, that's the assignment for today. That's all we're going to have for today. In fact, let me just assign this now. So as of the time that I'm recording this video, you guys should be seeing this, and hopefully this video doesn't take too long, and you'll be able to um, watch this before you do that. Okay? Uh, the other thing is that tomorrow you need to have those vocabulary words handy because tomorrow's assignment will be uh, uh, responding to those directly. You'll be using those vocabulary words in tomorrow's assignment. Don't know how I can make it more plain than that, um, except to say vocabulary course. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. Um, remember to wash your hands. Try not to go outside if you don't have to. Um, stay healthy. And I'll see you guys next time.